I'd like to explain one of the most misunderstood things in deer hunting, I believe, and it's the trap. It's how to harvest the mature deer. Um, QDMA and a lot of different organizations have really helped hunters grow large numbers of deer and a lot of mature deer, but where we've lacked in a few areas is uh, harvesting those deer. And part of that is not understanding where the buck or the, the animals want to naturally live. So when I go out and lay out a client's property, what I am doing is laying it out how the deer naturally want to live as long as I can do that and still hunt it effectively. So I don't use the rubber stamp scenario where the center of the, food, the, center of the property is is a sanctuary or bedding and then around the outside of that is your food plots and then you access the property on the outside of that. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. I use terrain features. That's how you harvest mature deer is terrain features and that's how they live their lives. So for an example on this property here you see all these points that stick out. Well the end of a point, the military crest, is where bucks want to live. That's where their core areas are. That's where they're bedding. That's where they're actually spending probably 60 to 70% of their time. So, again, if you don't know how to understand what a terrain map looks like, this is our low ground here. This is our high ground. And the high ground comes out in points. And then you have contour lines that show how that drops off. So, the first thing I do is that, is study the topo map. And then I come in and establish buck bedding at the ends of these points across the property and this property lays out naturally real well because this it being north with a northwest wind the wind is typically blowing from the bucks beds to where we're going to be able to put food plots in so in the trap i'm trying to explain now we're going to have two buck bedding areas then we connect those with this red trail the green is going to be our doe bedding Bucks want to bed for security, does want to bed up against the food source, as tight as they can get. So they have dominance over that. So the green is warm season grass here we've put in for doe bedding, and we'll get some, some bucks bedded in there if we have real good security grass, six foot tall. And then this next ring here is our food plot. So again, we got buck beds, our travel trails, doe bedding in the green and food plots the yellow the pink around the doe bedding is actually a buck sneak trail and that's 20 yards back into the timber and so what i do is i get the grass established and then i hinge cut trees all the way around the uh tall warm season grass and they're live brush piles for the does to get up in and also for quail pheasant habitat and then my buck sneak trail is right where the timber starts to get tall. That trail is almost always there, and it's 15 to 20 yards inside the timber. And then you will also, after this food plot is established, also want a buck sneak trail around that. And here is the hunter entry, and that T is where the tree stand is, and that's where everything comes together. So the idea is I can sneak in here, my does are living here up against the food. They go to the food. My bucks are living back here. And they come in to a staging area that I've built back here behind the doe bedding. I don't have to interact with my does near as much. I'm not bumping them off my food source. My food source is a sanctuary. This is a trap. I can hunt this more often than what I would be able to hunt that food plot and still keep deer on the property because I come in around the backside of these ponds where I don't have deer crossing my in and out trail. And if these bucks come by and I don't harvest the one I want that day, I can leave without blowing all the deer out of my food plot. So again, sanctuary, 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 hunt in between, doe bedding here. The most important thing about this is I've laid it out in a natural way to where the bucks are where they want to be, the does are where they want to be. So what I am doing is going to work. And again, you can see the new buck sneak trail around the food plot. After you do this system for a few years, you could have a stand over here on this buck sneak trail about right here, off to the side, and possibly have another stand location that would be productive. But if you can stay off that food plot for a couple years, it makes that food plot 
twice or three times as, as uh, beneficial to you for hunting and for holding deer on the property.